Right, welcome back everyone, Gorish George for a match day preview. Sorry I've been away, it was the international break. I didn't get a chance to go to Leicester away either. Uh, obviously we got through and we got Southampton in the way after Agent Check and Zona pulled out an absolutely fantastic draw for us in the FA Cup semi-final. But yeah, it was the international break. I did go to England versus Italy, but I was going to flog it for you guys, but it was just a shocking game. It was so First half was a lot more entertaining than second. Second half, not much happened, so I thought there's no point putting out poor content, so that's the reason why I didn't put it out. Back to Premier League action now, and what a game it is to come back on. Chelsea first Spurs at Stamford Bridge, 4 o'clock kickoff on a Sunday, tomorrow night. I will be there. I'm going to be sitting in the West Stand upper, so if you see me, come say hello. Unfortunately, it's not. I hope it's going to be a great atmosphere up there, but normally the West Stand isn't the best atmosphere, but I'll still be singing, I'll still be cheering on the team. And I won't let that affect the vlog. But yeah, that will be up on Sunday evening. So make sure you hit the notification bell and make sure you subscribe to my channel. But also, a bit of um, an upsetting news. Ex-Chelsea player and coach and ex-England star Ray Wilkins suffered a heart attack last night at his home in Cobham. And he's been induced into a coma and he's fighting for his life. He's in a critical state. So yeah, all thoughts and prayers. I hope you pull through, rate, And yeah, hopefully it's, you can fight through this and stay strong. Yeah, all the Chelsea fans are behind you and I'm hoping that you pull through. And yeah, my thoughts go out to you and your family at this time. But yeah, let's get on to the game. This is one game that I want to win. This is always the fixture I look out for the most. And I was at Wembley when we beat them 2-1. Their first game at Wembley. This season and we beat him 2-1. Marcus Alonso was absolutely fantastic. Got the two goals. It's always been that sort of relationship with Spurs. When we knocked him out of the Champions League. We beat him 4-2 in, in the semi-final last year. And we always seem to have the edge on him. We've stopped him winning the league when Leicester won it. We've, with Hazard scoring the 2-2. And yeah, they haven't won at Stamford Bridge in over 30 years. So it all looks positive. We always seem to have the edge over Spurs. But they are above us in the league table as it stands. Five points ahead of us. And if we want to make top four, we've got to be winning this. We've got to put them under pressure and see if they can handle it. Especially when they've got City coming up as well. So if we win this, we go two points behind them. And yeah, they still got to play City. So hopefully we can stay behind them until they do play City. I'm not too sure when that is because I'm not fussed about Spurs. But obviously they're above us. And if we win this, we go two points behind them. And we put on the pressure. And... It's at Stanford Bridge, so we've got to get behind the team. No matter what team Conte puts out, I'm about to say my start at 11, the team that I think is going to be the strongest going up against Spurs. And yeah, hopefully it's the winning, winning team. Obviously, Thibaut and Christensen are doubts for this game uh, after Conte came out in his press conference on Thursday night, said that they would have to see how they are. But hopefully they are fit. They're two of our best players. Uh, obviously, Thibaut is a world-class goalkeeper, no matter what anyone says about him. I know Barcelona... He did have a few mistakes where he let the goals go through his legs. But he's still a world-class goalkeeper. So, yeah, if he's fit, he's got to go for me. I know Willy Caballero is a good goalkeeper. But against Spurs, we need our best goalkeeper. And that's Thibaut Courtois. So, yeah, Thibaut goes in for me. Then the back line is going to be Aspen Aquetta, Christensen and Rudiger. I think that is our strongest back line. And hopefully Christensen is fit to start. But if he's not, Kale's going to come in and probably start in the middle. Maybe put Rudiger in the middle. Uh, obviously, David Rees is still out. If David Rees was playing, I'd probably put him in there instead of Cahill. But he's still got a niggling knee injury, so he's out for the game. So, yeah, my back three, if Christensen's fit, is Aspen Aquera, Christensen and Rudiger. And then, if Christensen's not fit, you put Cahill in there. On to the wing-backs. You've got Marcus Alonso and Victor Moses. I would probably not start Victor Moses. I'd probably start Slapa Costa and start Alonso. I think Alonso's been... Probably an unsung hero this season. He's always performed well. Even against Barcelona, he performed well. He's one of our best players on the pitch. So, yeah, Marcus Alonso goes in for me. And then Sapa Costa out on the uh, right wing back role. In the midfield. Now, this is a decision where we go with a midfield three of Kante, Bakayoko, Seth Fabregas. And just bulk it out. Or Danny Drinkwater instead of Bakayoko. Or we go for a midfield two with Seth Fabregas and then go to Kante. Or Bakayoko and go to Kante. I would personally go with a midfield two and then go with a three up top. Um, so my midfield two. I think Seska, he obviously weren't called up for international duty. So hopefully he's well rested and can start in the two. So yeah, Seska Fabregas goes in for me next to N'Golo Kante. Which leads me on to my front three. 
I think Eden Hazard has got to he's got to step up. He's got to go in for me, but he's got to step. Up. He's, he's got to show his why he's considered one of the world's best. And yeah, he he needs to be more greedy for me. He needs to be more selfish. He needs to, when he's roasting a player and he gets past him, do it again, do it again, do it again. Keep doing it. Don't stop. If you know you got the beating of him, go past him. And hopefully, if William starts as well, he could take some of the pressure off Eden. And because if he starts in a two. Or a false nine, the, the, the defence can easily mark him out of the game. So yeah, that's why I'm going to start William on the right as well. So he can sort of take a player away. Because then it's two major threats. William's been in a fantastic form for us. So hopefully he can tin that through over the international break. And into this game tomorrow. So yeah, William and Hazard, they both got to help each other. Just take the pressure off each other. Cause threats either side. So Spurs don't know how to cope with that. So yeah, then, then Hazard and William on my right wing and left wing. Then leading the line is going to be Alvaro Morata. I think Giroud is a plan B. I wouldn't start Giroud, even though he did score for France in the international break. And then obviously Morata didn't get called up for Spain. But hopefully that will help him because he said he's now 100% fit after that back injury. Um, so hopefully he can come out and show his worth now. He's got to show in these big games why we brought him in. Obviously he scored against Man United. Um... In the home fixture, and which we won one nil, and he, he did score against Man United in the away fixture, but it was disallowed. So hopefully he can. I, I would start Murata. He he's our first choice striker. So yeah, morata has got to start for me. Hopefully he can have the game of his life and win us the game for him. That will definitely get the fans back on his side. I love Murata. I think he gets a lot of stick for what he's done. I know he goes down a bit too easy, and I've said that in the past as well. But Hopefully he's going to learn that and he's got to stay on his feet a bit more. So hopefully he does that tomorrow against Spurs. Hopefully he's he's ready to go. Hopefully he's going to show and prove to Chelsea fans why we brought him in. Why he should be our number one striker. Yeah, so Morata goes in for me. Let me know on your starting eleven down below. What? Let me know what you think on my starting eleven. Whether it should be Moses on the right wing back or Bakayoko and Cesc Fergas in midfield three. Morata and, um, Morat and Hazard starting as a front two. Uh, but yeah, let me know down below what you think. And yeah, that leads me on to my score prediction. I think we've got to win this game. It is a must-win game if we want to make top four. So yeah, hopefully we go away with a 2-1 win. I'm going to be there tomorrow, so make sure you subscribe down below so you hear, see the vlog straight away. It's going to be an extended one from the 90 Min, which will be the Unseen Content, which 90 Min don't put up. That will be up on my channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Leave a like on this video if you did enjoy it. Make sure you leave your comments down below on your starting 11, what you thought of my starting 11 and your predicted scoreline. But yeah, I will see you tomorrow for the match day vlog. And yeah, last but not least, come on you blues!